Hello, everybody. So today I would like to say just a few words about um, the three musketeers, as you know, and about their author, so Alexandre Dumont, who is one of the most famous French novelists and whose, uh, whose novels were um, well, turned into so many movies that I can't even count how, how many of them there were created. Um, yes, so our beloved musketeers um, were, were created by, by this extraordinary man uh, who, um, who, who, who cannot be compared to any author I can think of. Why, I will explain in a second. So, first of all, one of the things that I wanted you to know is that his, um, his family background is very interesting, as his father was a French general, which wouldn't be so interesting, uh, if it hadn't been for the fact that he was, um, he was a French general at the time of the French Republic, um, who actually had a pretty difficult uh, relationship with Napoleon Bonaparte, which led to many misfortunes. But what is the most interesting is the fact that um, Dumont, so the, the father of um, uh, writer Alexander Dumont, was in fact half black. Um, as he was the son of um, French Marcus and his black slave, and he was born in uh, San Domingo. So when you take a look and, um, at, at uh, Alexandre Dumas' uh, photos, you can clearly see that his, um, that his hair is very much African. And um, that's the reason, because uh, Alexandre Dumas, Dumas' uh, grandmother was actually a black slave uh, on San Domingo. So that's one of the uh, curiosities I wanted to share. I know it's maybe not the, 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 the most important one, but I found it interesting. And his father was actually a very important general and probably one of the um, one of the most important, like partially black generals uh, in in the history of Europe and probably America, who ever led an army. So that's that's interesting. Uh, but unfortunately, he had, he had an argument uh, with Napoleon in uh, in Egypt, and then when he was coming back to France, he was caught by the enemies in Neapol. And he stayed in prison for two years um, because actually nobody was very much interested in getting him back. And um, when when he finally came back, he was uh, very sick, and uh, his family lived in poverty because due to this uh, terrible argument and well. He did, uh, he did uh, criticize Napoleon and, um, and yes, they didn't like each other. And that was the reason for him not getting the money that normally a wounded general would get from the government. And as Napoleon uh, hated him, he didn't get the money and his family lived in poverty. Um, but and uh, these uh, motives you can find in, for example, um, uh, Count Monte Cristo. Um, yes, yeah, so looking, for, you know, drink of the treasure, being rich and everything. And the father kept in, in, in prison and waiting for the father. So it's one of their motives from uh, Alexandre Dumas' childhood, uh, and his father died uh, of cancer uh, when he was just 
think four years old, so a, a very young child. But it didn't stop our um, our writer, well, not well, a writer to be, uh, from his career. And what's interesting is that he started as a very successful playwright. So it wasn't uh, so novels, although we know him for 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 them for writing novels. Uh, it wasn't his start. It wasn't his first choice, uh, but but rather uh, theater and plays. And he was very successful. He was earning a lot of money, but the problem was that he was spending much too much, and he was really keen on women. And sci some scientists counted that he had at least. 40 lovers during his lifetime. And he had many, many, I mean, many, um, at least five children that we uh, we know of, uh, and each of them was born of another uh, mother. <laughs> so, and of course, he also had son, Alexandre Dumont, who was also so the son, the engineer, we would say in English, uh, who was also a writer. But what is very interesting is the fact that our Alexandre Dumas, who was spending an awful lot of money, was also a very good, um, he, well, very, very, he was very talented um, when it comes to marketing. And as we are talking about the 19th century, the first half of 19th century, is the time of Walter Scott and also publishing uh, so-called serial novels. So they were printed in the journals, in the newspapers, um, just like a TV series. So every week or yeah, probably every week, it depends, of course, on the uh, magazine, you would get another chapter of, of the book. So it was a great deal for the newspapers uh, because people wanted to know what happened next. And that's how Alexandre Dumont uh, started to, 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 to be written. And what's more, he was so clever that actually he created a whole writing studio and he was hiring a number of writers who were just writing for him and he was signing it. And uh, in this way, he could have um, his, you know, very active uh, personal life and earn a lot of money. And it's not that he wasn't um, thinking of anything. Of course, he was controlling stuff and he was coming up with the ideas, but he was very smart and he was collaborating uh, with a number of uh, artists, uh, I mean, writers, but also historians who were better educated than him and who helped him to find the right sources, right inspiration. And because he knew that people really wanted those historical novels, but he added a little something to it to make it more entertaining for people. And so all these romances that we can find in the musketeer stories um, is his invention. So he was mixing up the historical novels uh, which weren't very accurate, to be honest. I mean, they were okay, but it wasn't the main point to make it very accurate and, and um, realistic, let's say. And the romance, so it was exciting for, <clears throat> for, for people and um, a lot of people wanted to read it and he was getting money. So I think it's very clever. We may we may think it was unfair, or we may feel cheated on even, uh, because most of us, I guess, thought that he was doing it all by himself. Uh, but actually, I think that was uh, it was it was it was simply 
ingenious to come up with this uh, factory of writers who were um, helping him to, to, to write down all his ideas or maybe not even his ideas and to just, you know, make a lot of money, be a influential, wealthy man. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, the, the other information you can find in the videos that I'm attaching. Um, and what is more, uh, I'm also adding a, a really lovely uh, silent movie from the 1921, I guess. So you can see that the three musketeers were, uh, or that there were adaptations of the three musketeers very early on. Uh, and it was always tempting. And I think it's, it's, it's really charming to see it this way. Um, okay, so I hope it was interesting and that you will like the materials that you find down below in the uh, detail section, in the description section, sorry. Um, and yeah, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.